Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we will see how to configure the MailCow mail server on Ubuntu to achieve the best result. So let's go to the server and see how we can configure it. So right now we are on our server and in our last video, we have just installed the MailCow server and now let's configure the domain here. So in order to configure the domain, we have to go to the email and configuration. First of all, we have to add the domain. We will click on add domain and here I will type the name of the domain that is itsakha.com and you can type the description. I'm leaving it as empty and here all the settings are default. You can see the default mailbox quota is 3072 maximum quota is 10 GB selector is DKIM. You can select it and uh, set it as 2048. And no need to check on this relay this domain just add the domain and i will say add domain and restart sogo let's wait a while so it has created the domain alias can be up to 400 and the default mailbox size is 3 gigs and the maximum is 10 gigs now let's try to create a mailbox in order to create a mailbox just click on add mailbox and just type the name i will type the name as jack and the full name is Jack. I will generate the password and quota here. I will define as 10240 that is default and rest of the things. I will keep it as default and I will click on add. So our mailbox has been created that Jack at itsaka.com and the quota is 10 GB. Also make sure that once you create this, you should have to create the DNS record as well. I have hosted my DNS on Cloudflare. I have created the mail record and it's pointing to the IP. And then we have a CNAME record for the auto discover, MX record for mail.itsaka.com. We have DMARC, we have SPF and the DKIM. So where you will get the DKIM? If you go to the email configuration inside the domain, if you click on edit here, you will see the DKIM record here. I just copied it from here and I pasted it here as a DKIM record. You can see DKIM should be like DKIM.domain key and here is the record. So I have configured all the record and also I have configured it on the local machine as well. I installed the bind service that is the DNS service for the Ubuntu and my DNS record look like this. I have MX record pointing to mail.itsaka.com. I have a mail record pointing to my local machine. So our DNS is in place. Let's try to log into the webmail. Here we have this webmail. But in order to log into the webmail, I will go to the new window and I will type the URL as mail.itsaka.com slash sogo. And here you will get this UI and put the email as jack at itsaka.com and the password for this email and we'll click on login. So you can see we are logged in and it says personal calendar folder has been created. Now if we try to send an email to Gmail, we can just compose an email. I will type my email address to Gmail and I will click on send. If I go to my Gmail and refresh it here, you can see I received the email from Jack. Here it is Jack at itsaka.com. And if you see the show original, you can see the SPF is passed, DKIM is passed and DMARC is also passed. Also, I tried to reply to that email which I sent to the Gmail and you can see we have received that email response as a yes. I have sent some email from other email as well that is jack at vnsupport.net and we have received that email as well. Also, if we want to test the spam score for our email, we can just open the mailtester.com and copy this email address and paste it here and try to send an email to this address. I will click on send. So mail has been sent successfully. Let's verify it on mail tester and you can see perfect you can send. The score is 10 out of 10. So everything is proper and set for our domain. So this way you can configure your mail cow to send and receive the email in a perfect way. I hope the video was informative. Let's meet in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.